The Independence National Electoral Commission, INEC, has again commenced the distribution of permanent voters' cards, PVCs, to registrants at the 8,809 electoral wards across Nigeria. INEC National Commissioner Festus Okoye said the commission also resolved to devolve PVC collection to the 8,809 registration areas wards from Friday 6th to Sunday the 15th of January 2023. Okoye said all those who applied for the replacement of lost, damaged, or defaced PVCs can collect their PVCs at the words during the same period. He noted that the PVCs of those that applied for transfer are available for collection in the local governments and registration areas where they intend to vote and not in the state or local government where they carried out the transfer. We are now being joined by Plus TV Africa political correspondent Marianne O'Cohen, who was at the Kurama College Shop Abayo Day Call of Victoria Island PVC Collection Center. Good morning, Marianne. Hi, Destiny. Thank you for having me. All right, so can you kindly bring us up to speed with um, the present development at the PVC Collection Center? Uh, well, uh, the PVC collection from wards and registration areas uh, by INEC started yesterday. Apparently, INEC um, Chairman Professor Mahmoud Yakubu had said that they, they wanted to devolve the process and make it easier for um, Nigerians who are yet to collect their PVCs uh, to be able to do so at a place that's most close to them. And that's why these PVCs were taken to different wards. And for me, um, as someone who has trans transferred my polling unit to Lagos State and to a place that's close to me, being that I'm going to be working in the field on election day, uh, I put it closer to uh, the office area so that whatever I was doing or covering would be close to me. So um, my ward was um, Kuramu. My ward is actually Victoria Island too, but then the, where the distribution was taking place was at the Kuramu College on um, Bishop Abayadi Co. So we're, I'm guessing there, the crowd was not very um, pleasing. Of course, Anik had earlier that they complained about the fact that there was low turnout, even though they were not expecting a crowd at the wards because they wanted to reduce, you know, the stress on local government areas. People still didn't show up as they would have hoped um, to get their PVCs. But then, uh, while I was on the ground, and was speaking to, um, you know, some of the people who were there to receive their PVCs. And a lot of them also complained about the fact that um, ANEC officials, some of them were not necessarily, um, you know, doing their job and doing it as a at, at you know the fastest pace because when I got there the people I saw were not up to 100 or 200 uh, but unfortunately uh, they kept complaining that people were skipping the lines people were um, you know using the fact that uh, you know they knew some of these INEC officials or inducing them to you know get you know to the front to get their PVC um, a couple of us were patient enough to stand in the sun and hope and make sure that the process was you know uh, faster at some point an electoral officer came uh, who, uh, who you know um, um, tried to, you know, fasten the process. Uh, she made sure that everybody stood in a line. And uh, uh, fortunately, I realized that most of the people at that particular um, ward or where the collection center were people who had transferred to those areas. They probably had moved from one part of Lagos to another. And so most of them could find their PVC. Some people actually found their names on the PVC uh, on the leaf, but couldn't find their PVCs. And um, I remember speaking to the INEC, um, for Anik Lagos uh, PRO, she did say that um, most of the cards are still en route to some of these wards and registration areas and uh, might Maria, take Maria. a week or, or maybe two days for these uh, cards to be received. All right, Maryam, um, as a journalist, how would you actually rate the process? You know, some people might come and say, I mean, they, they found, I mean, they experienced delays in collecting the PVCs, even as INEC has actually invited the public to come over. So do you see it as a very fast pace or what, how can you rate it as a journalist? Um, so I think it's different for different places because the process was meant to start at 8 a.m. yesterday. Um, some people did say in certain areas that I got uh, feedback from, like we've been staying some other parts of Lagos, INEC officials were yet to get to uh, the venue for the process to start. So I guess that that's what slowed down the process. But I think all in all, this is the best way for people to get their PVC. It's faster. Um, I tell you what, Destiny, if you go to the local governments, it will take you all day sometimes to be able to, before they get to your number, for you to be able to even find out if your name is on the list 
or if your PVC is even available. Because some people, their names are on the list, but their PVCs are not there. So, but this is a way to, you know, quicken the process. And I think that's a, it's a novel idea that INEC has put together. But then they need to make sure that there's a follow-up uh, to make sure that the people are walking up to speed. They're not crossing lines. They're doing what they need to do. Um, and for those who may not necessarily find their, their PVCs, um, INEC needs to also fast track that process because I saw a lady who said she was told to come next week. Her name is on uh, on the register, but then her PVC was not there. And then there are people who also have other issues where they transferred and they got an email saying it was successful, but when they got to uh, you know their local government or the wards, they were unable to find their PVC, meaning that the transfer did not necessarily go through. So they have to go back to where they initially were registered to you know vote on election day. All right, thank you so much, Miriam, for this information, and I'm sure that um, as INEC has invited the public, um, it will indeed be a smooth ride from uh, the next week. Thank you so much, Miriam. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.